Howdy folks, Grotto Goblin here of the Goblin's Grotto, and welcome to a very quick Kickstarter showcase, a sort of heads up for the latest Kickstarter campaign from Midlam Miniatures, the Nuns of Midlam Abbey. This is a bit of a niche campaign uh, focusing on you know NPC type characters, although you know you could always rework these into some kind of cultist or something, who knows. But uh, yeah, this is, of course, as stated, coming from Midland Miniatures, not a sponsor, but I do really enjoy their content, and they have been very consistent with their Kickstarter campaigns, delivering uh, on time with high-quality products that I have received multiple times at this point. Um, as we can see, the campaign has uh, <laughs> a, not too long to go, but there's enough time to get in if you are considering it. Uh, remember, Kickstarter is not a store. This is a pretty reliable um, company, a pretty reliable group, so I would trust that they will deliver without much issue. Still, pledge responsibly. Um, as you can see, I have already put in a pledge. Keep in mind, this is in euros, so if you are working with another type of currency, there will be a bit of an exchange rate. So... Just keep in mind the money here may not reflect 100% with whatever currency you're using. So, anyway. Nuns of Midland Abbey. This right here is pretty much what we have to work with. Um, Little Miner, Sunday, November 5th, um, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. That's U.S. So, uh, keep that in mind uh, in terms of how long you have to go. This has already reached funding, so don't worry about that. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we have. The, the, the main thrust of the campaign is these nuns, but as we will see, there is a little bit more to show off. So uh, let's get a look at the minis we have on display here. Our first uh, Sister Novella, none with a book, no Sister Novella, you get it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Midland Miniatures loves their sort of puns and, you know, funny name uh, schemes. A pretty good little uh, uh, miniature, whether you want to represent a nun or just like a learned person reading. Uh, sister, uh, oh, Mother Mia, you know, like Mama Mia. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, so this is a stretch goal that got unlocked. Uh, very nice one. And this is all part of your standard ones. Uh, this could be somebody in prayer or maybe someone pleading with somebody else. Sister Romana. I don't know, with candle. Uh, yeah, it's a, <laughs> about what you expect. Sister Serene. Hands in the robe, very calm. Sister Miasma. So I think this is kind of uh, the miasma thing is a play on the fact that this is one of those little smoke things uh, that's supposed to release sort of a healing, cleansing smoke. So it's the miasma. Sister Alice, then with a chalice. Yeah, um, who knows? Maybe that's the Holy Grail. Um, all of these nuns, you know, they're pretty, pretty standard. What you get? Uh, nothing crazy about it. Sister Grace, bring. Sister Nella, kneeling praying nun. Um, Sister Somnambula, Somnambula, unconscious nun. So I think this is like a on the ground. Let's scroll up because that perspective doesn't necessarily show off. Yeah, so there's no base under her. So I think she's like laying on the ground. I guess it'd be the same for that one as well. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Sorry, not too blue. Okay, so another unconscious then. Well, I don't know what the context would be. Um, maybe you have a scenario where people have attacked a church, and uh, you go in and you have to like rescue some of the nuns there. Um, but yeah, that is uh, the nuns that we're getting a look of. There's nothing overtly. Uh, real world religion about these obviously nuns are part of real world religions and these borrow a lot of those tropes 
but there's not like dangling crosses or anything like that. So you really could slot them into any number of fantasy settings that don't have like Christianity in them. Uh, but um, carrying that on, there are also monks here. Um, and, and also, by the way, I, I really like when these sort of mentors come out where, you know, they're going to be inspired by some kind of religious figures in our real world, but they don't have anything over uh, about them. So you can just kind of plug them into any fantasy setting because, you know, religions exist all, all across fantasy and real life. So it's good to have some crossover there. Uh, but to that point, moving on, we have the monks of Midlam Abbey. Now, this is actually from one of their previous campaigns. Let me go uh, hop over there. I believe that they did have this on Kickstarter a while back. I don't, I, yeah, here it is. I, I did not have the opportunity to back this when it came out. But uh, as you can see, these are all of the monks that are now being brought over into this new campaign. So if you missed the old one, you can pick this up. That would be under the Brothers and Sisters of Midlam Abbey pledge. It's going to be uh, 47 euros, 58 USD. So this is the sort of list here. It's about what you expect from a monk, but there are some uh, monks holding banners. So that could be, you know, that any kind of procession or, you know, uh, a na church announcement, perhaps so there's a crowning of a king or something like that. These sort of bannermen would uh, be a part of that and usually have some kind of religious insignia there. But uh, you could also have these in, in maybe like a military unit if it's sort of an army of the church. And uh, same goes for basically any of these other ones. Maybe they're in the... the um, baggage train or the sort of camp following of any army sort of doing blessings. Same thing with the nuns. Uh, that is a very common practice of nuns and uh, other religious figures of that sort in real life sort of following armies and you know tending to the wounded. Um, you see that in some kind of, in some fantasy settings is sort of a little bit of trouble if you've ever uh, read or watched Game of the Game of Thrones books. There are some uh, nun characters, the, the Silent Sisters, that you will see fulfilling that role. So definitely you can use these for that sort of a thing. I uh, see so right here, that's the first little like cross that I've seen. So it's the first time I've seen anything like that, but it's very subtle. So I, I don't, I wouldn't, you don't really have to... Uh, Worry too much about that if you don't if you want to avoid that sort of symbology in your religion. Hmm. Mother Hale's worthy. Uh, is my drinking on the job. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he's allowed to do that, but he is nevertheless. But yeah. So with this latest campaign, which is quickly coming to a close, if you want to pick up a, a full house of religious. Uh, NPCs or you know you could always rework these into being part of maybe some kind of secret cult or something like that uh, for your fantasy games uh, your tabletop RPGs then this latest Kickstarter the Nuns of Bidlam Abbey is a good bet for you uh, again I have back several of these and they've been nothing if not uh, very reliable and I have full confidence that they will deliver and the products will be to our satisfaction. So, all that being said, uh, let me do a very quick sort of think about the pricing. So, uh, $58 for me. Let me grab my little calculator while I am thinking. Da, 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 da. Okay, so $58. So, that is for both all of the nuns and the monks we got. What would we got? Three, six, nine, ten. Ten nuns and three, six, nine, ten uh, monks. Okay, okay. So that's 20. So 50 divided by 20. It's about $2.99. That's pretty good. That's actually 
for metal miniatures, which again, these will be coming in metal, that's a pretty good deal. Remember, Kickstarter's not a store, so you shouldn't only think about things in terms of like retail pricing and stuff like that. But if you are going to bank these miniatures, it is neat to kind of think about that sort of thing. Now, I will say, with two of these being like unconscious figures, uh, they're not as useful to me. I mean, they're great if you want to have like you know, casualties on the f on the field or something like that. But overall, I probably wouldn't use them to the same extent as like a little NPC figure. But nevertheless, uh, yeah, that is a pretty good price, pretty good deal overall, I would say. So that is uh, the latest campaign from Midland Miniatures. Let me know if you're going to back this campaign, uh, why you uh, choose whatever tier you choose, because you don't have to choose them both. You could always just pick up individual miniatures, um, a whole bunch of the nuns, or you know, just one set. So you don't have to pick up both the nuns and the monks. But if you do, let me know uh, why you choose that and how you're going to use these miniatures in your games. Or, you know, maybe you just want to paint them. So that's going to be all for me today. Thank you so much for watching. And, yeah, have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.